Here you go, another splat video. I don't know what to say. Welp, welcome to UML fan Chris Romero News. Here is your top stories for today. It has been brought to my attention that, in fact, Nickelodeon Austria has... What's that word I'm looking for? Entered the splat, which is not the only one that has entered the splat. Nick Music has also gotten a splat logo, but this is on Verizon. Remember, Nick Music still has its splat logo. So one of the subscribers on the channel, FA2012, is having its award show again. The FA2012 Awards is set to happen on Monday, March 18th. And this award show will be hosted by Mr. Odd and Hannah Williams once again. And as it said on the bottom, voting is now closed. Now, I gotta say, I do enjoy the blimp. I like the design. But now I'm wondering, what if UML fan Chris Romero had a blimp. Hmm. I want to know how that will look. If there's anyone watching this video, I want a blimp. DirecTV have provided an update on the current situation with CMG, the owner of Boston 25 News. This is the current update from DirecTV. It reads, DirecTV is working with CMG, the owner of these channels, to reach an agreement to continue to deliver its local and national programming. Continuing on, before expiration date on February 2nd, that will align the value and quality customers receive the price they pay. Our request to CMG is simple. Don't force your viewers who are our customers to pay an unwarranted rate increase for free news, sports, and entertainment that is wisely available on local station websites. Here's what I'm gonna say. I don't know why they're saying don't force, they're not forcing me. Now, like I said in the previous video, this is not the first time DirecTV have done this before. Back in 2019, they also threatened that they will take away all Viacom channels, which includes Nickelodeon. They also threatened that we would miss the biggest night of the year, which is the Kids' Choice Awards. But I want to know in the comment section, does anyone remember seeing this message? What you see on your screen, this was the original banner that they had on the Boston 25 News website. Now that has changed. It looks like this now. Like I said in the last video, if you watch Boston 25 News like I do, or any of the channels that CMG owns, you are urged to call this number and tell them to put any channel that CMG owns. For example, I live in Massachusetts and there's Boston, Massachusetts. I have WFXT. That's a CMG owned station. If you live in any of these cities, you are urged to call DirecTV or you can cancel your subscription with DirecTV. And finally, we now know who will be in the Bikini Bottom for the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is set to happen on Sunday, February 11th on CBS, Paramount Plus, and everyone's favorite channel, Nickelodeon. And it will be the San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs for the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And Nickelodeon had this really cool article on Nickelodeon parents. I'm going to show it to you right now. It's just a FAQ. But here is one of my favorites. These are our confessions. It's Usher's world and we're just simulcasting it. And we sure don't mind. Okay, that's our last Usher pun. Whether you're watching on Nickelodeon or CBS, Usher's got this year's Apple Music Halftime Show. Super Bowl Halftime Show on lock. Consider this your official reminder to brush up on your mind reading lyrics before game day. <laughs> What? <laughs> Visit Nickelodeon at the Super Bowl experience. If you happen to be in Las Vegas, February 7th to February 11th, be sure to stop by the Super Bowl experience. Play games, grab some spongy swag, pose for your MVP photo op, and help us celebrate the collab of a lifetime or life slime. Play SpongeBob Simulator on Roblox. You like Roblox, don't you, Mr. Krabs? Roblox meets Bikini Bottom in this awesome new collaboration. Check out the new SpongeBob Simulator for super special surprises ahead of the big game. What does that mean? Could we get the announcement of the 2024 Kids' Choice Awards? And let me know down below if you want me to play the new SpongeBob Simulator game on Roblox. And I can make it happen on Super Bowl Sunday. Also, in an article, Nick Alive said that Nickelodeon is not going to use any adult commercials during their broadcasting of the Super Bowl. That includes, for example... Gambling sites like FanDuel and DraftKings. And most importantly, beer commercials. Well, guys, that's a wrap of this video. Thank you so much for taking time and watching this video. And as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out, my friends, and go Riverhawks. Hashtag the splat is back.